Joe Rogan hates people, and it's wrong to hate people, so I hate Joe Rogan. And everything CNN makes up about him is true. And you should hate him too, so here's nine reasons why Joe Rogan should be cancelled. He makes me so angry, I am literally shaking right now. Number one. He promotes Imervectin. He got sick and took a horse deworming drug, which proves he's a horse, not a human. Rogan said the horse deworming drug has received pushback from people where they're pretending it doesn't work because in order for the shot to have emergency use authorization, there can't be any other treatments for the virus. He says there might be a grand comparison where pharmaceutical companies are in cahoots to make anybody who takes the drug look crazy, but pharmaceutical companies wouldn't do anything like that. Joe Rogan's clearly trying to turn innocent people into sick horses. He's transphobic. Joe Rogan hates trans people. He doesn't want biological men fighting women in MMA, which means he's transphobical. So much so that he's also transformer phobic, transaction phobic, transarachnophobia ick, trans fat phobic, and he also refuses to drive a Trans Am on the basis of his hatred for trans people in the automobile community. And I'm pretty sure he removed the transmission from his own car. He has no idea what the reality is like to have an imaginary vagina living beneath his binary balls. He's deaf phobic. Joe Rogan hates deaf people so much. Him doing a podcast which requires you to hear is deliberately uninclusive to the deaf community. It's a macroaggression against them that they'll never know about because they can't hear it. He's fat phobic. Joe Rogan works out and is in great shape because he doesn't want to be fat because he hates fat people. Him setting the example of hard work and dedication to being in good health sets a terrible example for non-aborted offspring of birthing people. Joe Rogan committing hate crimes against fat people all around the world by exercising sets the body positivity movement back at least 3,000 years. Joe Rogan spreads misinformation by suggesting it's somehow healthier to be in good health. And nowhere in the biological science-ness of identity politics has that ever been proven. Yeah, it's just as healthy to be obese. It's not healthier. He's a murderer! If you look at Joe Rogan's Instagram, you'll see he routinely kills elks. I identify elk as people, which means he kills people. And he eats them, which also proves he's a cannibal. He appropriates chemo culture. Joe Rogan's bald, which means he's appropriating the culture of people on chemotherapy. What kind of sick person does that to sick people on purpose like that? I'm personally offended. I'm currently on chemotherapy even though I don't have cancer. I just think it's a good idea to treat all illnesses that aren't currently affecting me. It's the considerate thing to do, cause it's not just about you. He's boring phobic. Joe Rogan's a comedian, which means he's uninclusive to boring people that don't have a good sense of humor. Him being funny is white supremacy against them. I don't know why he's so supremacally white against boring people. Everybody menstruates. They sure do. He's an ableist. He has tattoos covering both arms, which makes him an arm-based ableist because some people don't have arms. Yeah, he's clearly discriminating against the double apple tree community by having arms. He's dictatorship phobic. Joe Rogan spoke out against medical passports because he says they're a step closer to a dictatorship. He clearly hates dictators. Mao, Stalin, the Chinese Communist Party, Party, the Taliban are all good people concerned about climate change. Joe Rogan has no business being oppressive to their murderous regimes. Starting today, I hereby mandate that Joe Rogan is cancelled. I'm severely confused as a person, so I try to aggressively change your mind about things to give me a false sense of certainty. So, mm. And you can too. When it comes to Joe Rogan, just say no. Feels like we made a difference here today. <laughs> My wife left me and she took everything. <laughs> But she didn't take my blue blocks. My wife didn't actually leave me, but she might after she sees this advertisement. But I'll tell you this, something I would never joke around about is blue light. There's not much that'll put more of a dent in my energy and my mood and my well-being than blue light at night. But there's not many problems that are easier to solve than blue light. That's why I love Blue Blocks, my favorite evidence-based blue light blocking glasses. Blue Blocks are a part of my daily evening routine because feeling and functioning my best is important to me. And I know that getting good sleep, free of the influence of blue light at night, is essential. Blue Blocks comes in a variety of stylish frames, few lens options, and they can even do prescription glasses for you. If you wanna stop joking around about blue light and start taking how you feel and function seriously, then you can grab your Blue Blocks at blueblocks.com slash JP. 
And because you're a viewer of mine, be sure to use the discount code JP to get 15% off. I think my wife's home. Thank you.